Hello YouTube and welcome to a new slash old series. Uh, this, for some of you that might know, is something I started a l long time ago. It was my first Let's Build series, but I'm sort of bringing it back in a new way, changing it up, and pretty much all down to this tree. So, this is Let's Build a Small Nordic Hamlet, or as I've now changed it to, a Wildling Village. Uh, obviously, it's Game of Thrones inspired, this is a heart tree, and this tree was made by Rylan, one of the moderators on the server. I don't know if it's Rylan or Rylan. Lord Becker says Rylan. I say Rylan. So, uh, yeah. And but he, he made this tree, he doesn't even watch Game of Thrones. Um, I think the, the bark was originally, like, dark oak, and obviously the leaves were, like, a purple colour. And I saw it, and I just went, that looks so much like a heart tree. I asked him to change it to white, he did. It looked amazing. So I asked him if I could rob it, and now we're going to actually start building around it. So the idea for this series, it's going to be sort of a mini series, it's going to be a much smaller series than normal. Um, and it's going to be a larger village, because I was originally trying to recreate White Tree, which is a village from north of the wall in Game of the Thrones. Uh, Game of the Thrones, did I just say? Game of Thrones. Uh, and the tree is much bigger, it branches out over the whole village, the village has got four houses, and they're abandoned, but it's a bit boring, so we're going to do maybe five or six houses, maybe a big larger hall house as well. Uh, it's going to be in a forest as well, because, you know, the haunted forest and wilding, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, and we're sort of going to build the terrain by hand as we go, rather than doing loads of terrain, because I've got sort of no idea, so I just want to build everything around this tree. So the tree's in place, that's done. It's an awesome tree. Very different to my normal style of building trees, but still looks great nonetheless. So let's get started. I've actually, if I go to the P world, um, I've come up with a few designs for some houses and some wilding sort of shapes or what I plan on doing. And uh, I think at the moment this one might be my favorite, but I think I'm gonna use all of these this one was actually started off by Oss, uh, and he came over to help me out, and I just expanded it and made a few changes. But yeah, so that's quite nice. This I'm thinking I could make a lot longer, and this would be like sort of the main hall building. These would all just be smaller houses. You see, I'm messing about with houses on angles as well. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste these in place, and we'll just focus on detailing and interiors rather than coming up with styles. Um, so it's going to be a much smaller series, a lot of it has already been sort of done, pre-arranged kind of thing. Uh, but you know, doing all the stuff around the outside of the plot, like all the terrain and stuff, that's all going to be the main part. So here's our first building, where's it going to go, let's see. I think quite close to the tree, and which way am I facing actually? Why, why didn't that work? Why is that not working? It says it was pasted. Do I not own this plot? I do, so... Why, why is it not? Let's try this command and then do... Paste minus... Minus... Eight. There we go. So that needs to go on the other side of the tree. So undo that. And that's gonna go... Kinda... Here. There we go and hide the chat once again so there's our first one in place next we're gonna go for i think this one on an angle this is gonna look really nice so this is gonna be actually quite hard to copy and paste over i'm thinking of having like a very slabby roof so this is very shallow uh, which is quite different take that and then which way are we facing we're facing west so, copy, back, make sure we're facing west, which is going to be that, that way, and I think about here, so they're quite close together, these two houses, ooh, hang on, uh, I'll try pace and see which way it goes, what, am I going to have to do this command every single time I come over here? That's really annoying if I do. Paste minus A. Paste minus A. There we go. Yep, that's what I wanted. 
That's good. So we've got that in place. Let's go back over to our plot and see if there's any other designs to take over. Let's go for this one. This is my, my favourite one by the looks of it. Just because it, it, it's very different to sort of what I normally go for. Uh, there's lots of stuff going on with this plot. Uh, I need to raise this up. Do that. And sort of copy it from this middle one, I think. Copy which direction we're facing. We're facing north. So go back to this plot. Which way is north? North is that way, so... I could do it either here, or it's going to have to go on the other side of this tree. Or else I'm going to have to rotate it. I think going here may work. Peace minus A. Uh, I am going to have to do this command every single time. So do that, then do that. Good. That kind of fits. Uh, I'll have to have another slanted one here, and then another one there. And we've just sort of got going around this main central tree. And the rest is all just going to be forest and terrain stuff. We're going to have like a small river running through. We're going to have like small cliffs, maybe a mountain on one side. This one's very strange. I don't know if I like this one. Uh, I wanted the, this, this diagonal. So it's going to be copy from there to... here. Yep. If I do right click on that. And then which way are we facing? So we're facing south. And it's going southwest. So we'll go back. So we're facing southwest is that way. So this one's going to be slanting in that direction. So I could even go here. Forgot about this. Every time. Now that's a bit too close to the tree, so we're actually going to undo that and bring it back over here somewhere. So, undo, paste. That's better. I like them being close together and like tightly packed in. So, if, in fact, if this was um, doing a white tree, those four houses would pretty much be what it was described as. Although the tree needs to be about well, ten times bigger. But we're still going to bring these other two designs over as well and then maybe do a different design fresh on camera so let's take that one and that stand here facing east now we've not copied one facing east yet so this might work nicely so that way is east so I'm just going to do it here actually paste mine a, oh god, damn it. Why didn't you remind me? Why did no one remind me? There we go, that works. Um, I'm thinking one more maybe here, and one more there. So you've got a path that's just going to cut through like that. I'm pretty sure that made no sense to anybody then, but it made sense to me, so it's fine. This one we're going to expand, so I can take it from there. Take it from here, and we'll rotate it and expand it somehow. So, we're going to go copy, we're facing east again. Hmm. So, yeah, now I'm tempted to move that over and then we could fit another one here, but no. No, it's not. Um, right, so we'll do rotate 90. And then, so it's going to be facing that way. Paste minus A. Ah, uh, damn it. But how many times am I actually going to make this mistake? So we're actually going to expand this, so we'll do that now before I forget. So that's going to go up to the, comes out by 2 and out by 1 punch these out to and by one uh, this then would actually just go straight across interesting let's go straight and it's one two one two three is that what I did over here 
no one two three one two so one two three one two then we can put these in then it starts to go up like this then by two then we have our central pillar two one one by three two one two three there we go so that's that that looks quite good now quite happy with that uh i actually do kind of want this tree to be a bit bigger but you know maybe we'll just have lots of stuff around the outside of this tree like you know uh animal pens and that kind of stuff do we need another building i think we do but i think we'll have to build this one separately because it's gonna have to be another angled one or an l-shaped one at least but I, I do like that that's quite a big building because it's definitely standing out from the rest of them. And I kind of want to expand it like this way a little bit more. Uh, press F3, we don't need that anymore. So we could go for... Uh, use this. Take that. Ah, oh, goddammit. And that. And move it two blocks so move to right yeah and then i'm gonna put another one of those in cap that off like that put this pillar in here i'm really confused then and a pillar in here and a pillar in here so that's just it's not much, but it's expanded it just enough so that it does look a lot wider. <clears throat> sorry, a lot wider and a lot longer than all these other buildings. You know, these are just like general people's houses. That one's like more of a main meeting hall. This is just another random guy's house. And I do want another one sort of here ish to cover this up. Uh, so let's do an L shaped one. And I think we'll do bit of an angle on one side and then not on the other or we could have coming in at an angle and going out at an angle Ooh, right okay this is going to get complicated really quick so if we put up like that and then it's going to go one one two and then like that nope then like this then go one one two and then you'd have a pillar here going on the outside this time and then it's gonna go one one two do that and then one I don't know that pillar would go there then one one two pillar here yeah so it, it, that's the shape I was going for anyway a very strange L shape house i'm just going to do three wide gaps here because it's keeping it simple so two and then one two three actually that's very big isn't it it would do two wide gaps then so we'll put a pillar there that would be like that and then that pillar would go there i forgot that when things are on the slant they're a lot bigger than the way they actually turn out normally so next we want to go one one two do a pillar one one, two, do a pillar. Uh, let's do this side and we'll try work out the rest in a minute. Because <laughs> it's getting confusing already. Take one, one, and a pillar. One, one, and a pillar. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. And then it would go one one two and then the pillar would go here or would the pillar go on the inside i don't know i'm confused again now Let's see that's going to go in cross two cross two so i put that pillar there and then that would go one two go one I just don't know anymore god this is confusing this is why people don't do slanted houses 
Okay, so based off this, that pillar should go there. And that would go there, and then these two would go there. Now that's right. Yeah. Okay. So then it's going to go one, one, two, three, and then pillar. One, one, two, three, and then a pillar. But we want it to come inside, so that pillar is going to go on the inside there. And then this pillar already is on the inside there. Hmm. One, one, two, and a one, and then a pillar, and then one, two, one, one, and a pillar, one, two. So you can see we've already gone wrong, kinda, since this pillar should be here, apparently. Hmm. This is why slanted houses are confusing. <laughs> so, maybe if I've done that, that pillar needs to go here. No. That pillar would go there, so how would you join these up? You have to go one. One, two, like that. That doesn't work though. That does. That will have to do. Uh, oh god. One, one, two. See, again, because we have this curve here, this is where it's getting really confusing. Because that pillar would go there, and it's supposed to go out like this and then like this so that meets up let's try to do that on this side so that would be just delete all this so this pillar is meant to be there is it and then it would have to go one one two pillar would go here one two pillar would go there one two that's right that, no it's not. That is right. There we go. So I've worked that bit out. Now let's do this back piece. I could just go in a straight line I think. One, two, three, four. One, two. So I'll put a pillar here. And we just join those up like this. And that stops it from being overly complicated. It's still a bit complicated but it's not overly complicated. This is going to be really fun to do the interior of. Um, and I think I'm going to get rid of these central bits. These ones aren't really needed. They were just there to help me fit the planning out. And that's a really oddly shaped building. It comes in a bit too much on this side. I think I'm going to want to put this pillar here and do that. Maybe if we do one and then do two coming this way, then we just have a straight line there. That that's I think that's right. That looks good. Okay, so that was confusing as hell. Right, so this is it for sort of bringing back this small Let's Build series with our Game of Thrones inspired stuff. The next episode, I will be sort of going through. Filling in the walls, the floors, the ceilings of uh, the ceilings, the roofs of each of these buildings, and then hopefully within a few episodes' time, we'll be ready to start on interiors and detailing. And then once sort of they're all done, we'll just be doing all the outside of the plot, making it not look so flat and so plain, and trying to make a snowy biome work because I really hate snow biomes and cold stuff because it's really hard to uh, unless it's in a forest which thankfully this is it's really hard to get the atmosphere right because it's just going to be open dead nothingness kind of like a desert but you know I've got around that by doing a huge desert town I'm getting around this by doing a forest so um, I'm sort of cheating atmosphere in those kind of ways but it's going to work it's going to look fine 
If you're enjoying this series and the way it's going so far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.